Hey guys, um, well, I made another update to the approach 20. What I did was uh, I added this snapshot button to the form. If you would click that, you would adjust your uh, screen region that you want to take a snapshot of. So, you know, you're starting 650 pixels to the left, 175 down, and you're going 300 more pixels over to the right, and 150 uh, pixels down from the bottom to draw the rectangle shot. And you just click the take a shot, screenshot button, and that will take that region of the screen that you defined here and load it into the image component and also copy it to the clipboard so um, so you have it saved in a clipboard also but the reason I did that was if you're playing with someone and um, and say you're now in the bunker here and uh, let's go here let's see uh, we'll call it 20. all right so you're 20 and 2025 all right so let's look what we have here for the short game and we don't have one so what we'll do is um we'll add it all right mm, 20. i'll keep it the same 25. bunker all right so we have that 2025 bunker and we'll take a full shot make sure we're there and we're at it so since we don't have a shot logged in I'm gonna log this one in uh, when you hit so you're playing a game and uh, this allows you to take a snapshot of what happens with top tracer after you hit the shot so we're not sure what's going to happen here so we're just going to wing it and see and we had it at uh, 18 and 5 yeah, short game okay so we'll just take a shot and we'll just see we'll hit it 50 percent first off and see i'm sure that's not going to be enough but we'll take it and now we'll get ready to take the snapshot of what happened boom we click take the snake uh snapshot and we have that here now what happened so then the other players would be playing and um you know your top tracer would have went away but that gives you time to uh well gives you time to uh add it right so 21 feet up and club name was a 64 wedge and it carried 15 power was 49 percent so there you have it you know and you've uh, you've stored that in your short game while the other players were shooting right so that's what I would use the snapshot functions myself for 
Uh, I'm sure there's other things you can use it for. So, but anyway, you just download the update, and again, and it's going to uh, change your setting database back to default. So, you uh, might want to take a screenshot of these uh, if you made changes to it, and then you can update them back after you do the install. So. Anyway, that is the uh, screenshot, and what will happen is um, it, it too will save the uh, foreign position and your uh, rectangle area that you did defined on the screen. So uh, just remember that uh, left is how far over in pixels you're going and the top how far down you're going to go right at the beginning and then the right how many more pixels do you want 300 you know and then uh, how much further you want to go down 150 and that then will allow you to draw a box right and so you play with that and, and you'll get it set for your uh, screen. So one more time, you start off <clears throat> with the left, how far over you want to go. Right? And then how far down is the top. So how far down do you want to go from the top? How much further to the right that you want to go and then how much further down do you want to go so that will connect the rectangle of the screen that you defined here right so and again when you exit this form and close it down and if you have to close the program down again and start it up later again um, you'll see that when you take a snapshot it's going to position itself where you last selected <clears throat> along with your screen pixel coordinates that you had saved right so if I take another snapshot it, it now again took this region of the screen you know 600 down and uh, 300 across 150 down right so <clears throat> and again you can uh, you could stretch the box out if you wanted to you know to make it bigger and smaller but uh, and it'll save that position too but anyway, I hope that uh, comes in handy for you. And just download the update, install it, and double check your settings before you do. If you need to change them, you know, save them off and then uh, print them off, and then you can change them when you come back and with the new update. So, all right, guys, that's it. Have a good night.